In the previous video, we did area between polar curves, and we used our graphing calculator, and we wound up with 3.14159, which was pi. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and do that integration by hand to remind you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and square these terms. So we've got one half the integral from pi 6 to 5 pi 6. When we square 3 sine theta squared, we would get 9 sine squared theta minus. Now, the second piece, because it's a binomial, we're going to have to FOIL that. So that would be 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta d theta. Well, so now we're going to want to distribute that negative. So let's go ahead and go plus, minus, 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 and combine like terms. So if we combine like terms, we would get area is 1 half integral pi 6 to 5 pi 6. And we would have 8 sine squared theta minus 2 sine theta minus 1 d theta. Well, so now we're going to have to do a substitution because we're trying to integrate with sine squared. So that's called a reduction formula. So if we just take a look at that piece, we've got 8. We're going to substitute for sine squared with 1 half 1 minus cosine 2 theta. And then we still have a negative 2 sine theta minus 1. So now if we cancel out here and we get a 4, 1 minus cosine 2 theta minus 2 sine theta minus 1. Now we have a 4 minus 4 cosine 2 theta minus 2 sine theta minus 1. We can combine like terms. And now we're dealing with 1 half integral from pi 6 to 5 pi 6. And we're trying to integrate 3 minus 4 cosine 2 theta minus 2 sine theta d theta. Well, so if we integrate, 1 half is going to be multiplied by, let's see, if we integrate 3, we would get 3 theta. If we integrate negative 4 cosine 2 theta, that would be a u sub. u would be 2 theta. We would need a 2d theta, and then we would bring a uh, half out front. And when we integrate uh, cosine, we get sine. So we would get negative 2 sine 2 theta. And then, of course, integrating negative 2 sine theta would give us positive 2 cosine theta. And we're going to evaluate that from pi 6 to 5 pi 6. Well, so we're going to need a little more room for that, so let's move this over. And you can see how we're much happier with our calculator, but sometimes we're not allowed to do that. So let's go ahead now and start plugging in. If we plug in, now again, we're going to have to remember to multiply by half at the end here. So if I multiply 3 times 5 pi 6, I would get 15 pi 6, which is 5 pi halves. If I plug in the 5 pi 6 here, 2 times 5 pi 6 would be 5 pi thirds. So I've got a negative 2 sine of 5 pi thirds. And if I plug in here, I would get positive 2 cosine 5 pi 6 minus, now we need to plug in our pi 6. If I plug in our pi 6 there, 3 times pi 6 would be pi halves. Uh, if I plug in my pi 6 there, negative 2 sine 2 pi 6 would become pi thirds. 
And if I plug in here, I have positive 2 cosine pi 6. Now what we have is an exercise in our special values. So I've got a 1 half. Um, I still have my 5 pi halves. So now negative 2 and sine of 5 pi thirds would, of course, be negative radical 3 over 2 plus 2 cosine of 5 pi 6 would be negative radical 3 over 2 minus, and then we still have our pi halves. Um, now we've got uh, negative 2 and sine of pi thirds is, of course, radical 3 over 2. And then I've got plus 2, and cosine of pi 6 is radical 3 over 2. Well, so let's take a look at this. Notice that these two terms cancel each other out because we have a positive and a negative, and they're the same thing. And that happens over here as well. So what we have left is 1 half of 5 pi halves minus pi halves. Well, that's the same thing as 1 half of, well, that would be 2 pi, which, of course, gives us pi, which is what we got on our calculator.